Just wanna freak Yo, this your girl MBDW says. Hey, this your girl Liv. And we are the, the says. says. And um, you know, we are supposed to rebrand this, give you some new shit, but um <clears throat> Liv ain't come up with that yet. I'm gonna put all the blame on Liv. Uh Liv was supposed to produce the show. She said, New her, new new year, new me, and we here. So we getting rid of a few things. We just don't know what we're getting rid of. So uh it, it wasn't really like new year, new me. It was just Oh, um, I just lost my train of thought. It don't matter. Anyway, man, we back with a new fucking episode. Shout out to us, man. You already know that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, first episode of the new year. First episode, first. And you know, we had to bring a special guest back. She ain't even guest his family. We had to bring, you know, the one, the only, the done daughter. Uh, I, I wish she had her little voiceover. She can do it herself, but um, I'll let her introduce herself. She ain't new to this. She true to this. Everybody, welcome on. Shy. Motherfucking Fontanet. You know I'm back and I'm willing, ready and willing, here for the killing. <clears throat> I've been in a freestyle mood lately, so put on a beat for me real quick. We on the freestyle with the says. You know what it is and you know how I'm coming. You know I'm that bitch and a real good woman. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let me tap me in, tap me in. <clears throat> yeah, we got shy in the building. She looking like she needs some healing, and we out here trying to get what we do because you know what we do do. What do I, we do I, do? I, I can work on that. Wait, 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 wait. What do we do do? We do shit. You gotta go. You gotta go from her. Go from her. From Amber. Yeah. yeah. Go okay. Ahead. Does it gotta be about shy? No, just go. Okay. First it's time. the new year, and it says it's here. We're coming. The route to bring you all the shit that we missed the previous year. I don't hey! fucking know. Hey! <laughs> good thing this. for good thing for shy hyping it up because I was be like, mm, you know, it was definitely off. I'm not a freestyler, but I'll do it if you tell me to. I feel Amber's you. the one with an old rap career that she don't be telling nobody about. You I do yeah, little me out. I do tell people I rap. <laughs> Wait, I do what tell was her? What was little meow. Stop. My name is not little meow. No, no, no. Was it little meow? No, her it mama wasn't. Told me. Her mama, there was this one point where me and her mom, we were just here by ourselves drinking. And her mom was like, you know, Amber's name was a little meow because little Bow Wow was so famous back then. I'm crying. And she, and she only, sent me only, Amber's track and everything. Only, only she called me little meow. I don't even think I had a rap name. What I think was your it was, rap name? I think it was Amber. I think it was little meow. It was. <laughs> <laughs> her mom was very adamant. Very adamant. You know, mama. You know, you know, my mama. She she jokes a lot. You know, I'm she jokes. Gail be having all the truth. She do. She do. Does the, does the volume sound right, y'all? Yeah. yeah okay. Good. Oh yeah, it sound cool. All right. So if it ever uh, sound, you might need to put them DSLs. Uh, raise the thing up. You know what DSLs are? Um, there we don't need to say it. Come on. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, my. Oh, I just realized what that stands for. Demand and supply luxury. Dick sucking lips. Yep. Basically, because uh, you added an A in there and demand, supply, supply. Like you it. said demand and supply. Girl, you can't do that. <laughs> so anyway, man. So how's everything been going? Um, should we just talk about us first and then get on? Or maybe? I mean, I think that we should just talk about what we all been up to. Like, I mean, in in all actuality, it, it's been a minute since we've all been on here. So yeah, just kind of touch base with everybody, see where everybody's standing. Mm-hmm. I, I I always talk a lot, so I'll let y'all start. And I, I, I mean, well, maybe we should let you go and get it out the way. Well, this is what I've been up to. I'm in school. I graduate soon. Um, RIP to everybody. We lost man. We done lost some people around this motherfucker. Um, every day, crazy. Um, free thug. You know, even though he tried to, you know, off Lil Wayne allegedly a long time ago, allegedly. But I'm just saying, uh, he still was providing jobs out here for people. Gunners out. It's a lot going on. Why am I even talking about them? Well, we're what about to be me? Talking about how yeah, you that's been. what I'm saying. I am talking about me. I'm just saying I missed a lot. I missed a lot. So I'm just over here. I've been watching a lot of TV. I've been trying to figure out life. Um, I've been saying a lot of no's. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get that health. I actually uh trying to stop drinking. I'm trying to stop gambling because, you know, I had a little gambling and alcohol problem, you know, just trying to shake a few things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get the devil off my back. You feel me? Uh, So that's what I've been doing. So is it a new year, new you? No, I want to lose 20 pounds. So I'm the biggest I've ever been right now. I'm 174. Don't look it. Do I look 174? If you say yes, bitch, square up right now. Anyway, I don't feel like I look 174. You don't, you, you don't look 174. But I'm 174, and I feel like it's nothing but the alcohol, so I really want to. I, I had a, like, everything makes me want to drink. 
I opened up the refrigerator and I seen ice cubes and I was like, ooh, those will look good in a drink. <laughs> and I was just, I, I got to stop, you know, because I really want to lose weight and uh-huh. just be healthy because I know my insides are tore up. But that's the biggest thing, stop drinking. <clears throat> so serious question. We know, we all know that alcohol definitely contributes to us gaining weight. If you don't see a different from you, from you not drinking anymore, will you be willing to change your diet? Yeah, if that's the case, but I know it's the alcohol. So you're going to do one or the other? You're not going to change your diet and uh, not drink? You're just going to I barely. Drink? I feel like I barely eat, like, food right now. Like, I eat the same shit. Mm-hmm. So why would I change my diet? Well, I eat the same inside. seven things. Chicken tenders aren't really much of a good diet. I mean, I can bake them sometimes. <laughs> I mean, what's, it's chicken. And babe, protein. I don't really think that it's the protein. I think that it's your lack of intake with vegetables and fruit. But you could take medicine for that. Like you could take vitamins. So, the, but vitamins, it, it's not the same as getting it directly from the source. They right? say that too. I and mean, then there's people out here, you know, you see what you say with that? It's not the same. But people still go out here and get BBLs and like liposuction and shit, and it's not, not the same. I'm it's not, not the lie same. To you. I am tired of working out. I'm tired of eating healthy. Talking to Mike is something. I'm <laughs> I'm tired of working out. I'm tired of eating healthy and these bitches are going underneath the fucking needle and I'm low key ready. But I'm you ready know, even if you do I that want a skinny BBL. You still have to stay in shape, Shy. Like fat grows back. If you transfer fat from one place to another, it still comes back. You still have to be able and to And I'll get another surgery. <laughs> What's a skinny yourself? BBL look the like? A skinny BBL is the ones where it's Oh my goodness! Sorry. This bitch is a lot. It is the one. It's the skin. It's where the, it's like the petite frame you build. Like the like they look more like it's more slender. natural. It's yeah. more natural. And then they okay. Have the, the, what is this right now? Um, what do you consider your body type? Squidward. <laughs> oh, seriously, because you're offending people that's actually. I actually built like think Squidward. that you're curvaceous, shy. I think that you Squidward have, got like a little for, pop belly and stuff. Mm. A lot of women actually want to be tall and curvy. Like I'm not going to say that. Like I you're got low key, but you're tall and, right, you're, and you're curvy. You're pushing your stomach. I'm out not right going to lie. It's giving Squidward. Exactly. It's giving Squidward with the belly poke out. Look like you drink nothing but beers in that bitch. Like simmer it down. Got to keep these hoes humble sometimes. You know so, what I'm saying? And that's why you look 180. Ooh. My baby would have told me if I looked one day. No, she you doesn't. You look good, Amber. There, there was when Amber and I first met. She had showed up, me a picture of her. She had like a shortcut. I'll never forget it. She had oh, I remember on these, that these Birkenstock sandals, and she looked so big, like she looked like she was round, a oompa loompa. Mm-hmm. like a oompa loompa, and she had a shortcut. And, and I, I was, was one sixty. Like, you were one sixty. I was one like, 160. I can't believe that was you. And she's like, that was me. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't. I deleted all those pictures. You won't even find I one of the pictures. A few. No, you don't. So she carries her weight well now, and I think it's just because. You do Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. you work out and you, you I haven't you, worked out none this year but you still have active. that muscle memory and you are active and you be walking around the town mm-hmm. not all the time I but you're still active you yeah, do it every day I am, I mean, I'm a little, and then I be trying to pick up the waters and stuff you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying I trying see it. To keep a little slump yeah. mm-hmm. but um yeah, I remember man. Amber with that with that yeah, when I'm telling you, my pubes used to be like really curly back in the day before I started getting laser, and that's what it looked like was on Amber's head. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy, Easy E. That's crazy, Easy E over here. Listen, I, well, I would hope her pubes hairs weren't <laughs> greasy like that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she got an S curl in okay, her hair okay, right okay. now. Okay, okay, okay. I cut my. I had to cut my hair a few <laughs> months ago. All right, and now it's growing. Yeah, it's it's doing what it's doing. New year, new hair. I was gonna say. Right? So, is, was I want to trim mine. I want to trim mine. Your new year, new thing. Like your new hair. Like what's been going on? Has anything changed? Like, are you working on working towards something? So, for just... my new year, what I really want to do is I don't. I want to. I forgot the word for it. It's a very simple. Grow word. up. Basically that. <laughs> but um, my for my new year, my is to pro- be progressive in everything. I want new opportunities. I want to expand. I, and I don't expect it to fall into my lap because I feel like this time. I feel like every year I'm not not in the same place, but just like I don't know. It's like what like you're stagnant. Like what are we stagnant? doing? Just, yes. What are we what doing? Are we doing? Like, what Trust are, me, like, I feel you. And like this year, I'm like I have to make more efforts. I have to make more like connections. I have to be more resourceful. I have to like that's my goal for this year is to really utilize. Every single thing. I want to gain a bigger following. Mm. I want to utilize all platforms: TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, I said YouTube. I want to hit 10k this year. On what? Anything. I, f- I never even hit 10K. I'm stuck at And you know seven. what's crazy? How, like, the platform, like, the social media right now, it's so easy to gain, like, a With big reels. <clears throat> with reels and anything. Like, right now, it's, like, the time for influencing. And not even just influencing, but just anything. Like, I just want to look back and be like, this year, 
I really went for shit. Mm. I really went towards things. And it's like, yeah, I don't want to be like, yeah, I was on Instagram half of the fucking year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I'd yeah. be listening to Liv's conversation. Not listening, but I hear her when she get on the phone with the influencers and stuff. And they be like, so how long have you been influenced? And they be like, I just started six months ago. And I'd be like, damn, I didn't have my Instagram since fucking Years. 2012. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, th- there are some people where they I bring on. Yeah, <clears throat> I just talked to this girl. I'm not that Literally invested. Literally on Monday, though. and she was she has over like fifty thousand followers, and her engagement rate though is insane. Like her engagement rate, you would think that her following is like in the two hundred k, right? And I'm like, well, when did you start? And she was like, oh, I just started five months ago, but I was so invested in it. She was making content and then saving it and then pushing it mm. out. She had like a That's rhythm invested, like, to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She studied her audience. That's a big thing. Like you have to know your audience and your demographic and what they're looking for. My, what else are they watching? Are they following other people who look like you? Or are they just following you because you told them to or like they saw you on an explore page? Who else do they follow? And then you have to look at that too. Like what kind of content are they making that really resonates with your audience? I, I notice my audience like when I'm <clears throat> looking a fucking fool and I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I get the most engagement when I'm doing some stuff like live embarrass me. That was a whole genuine reaction. Shy, you I probably didn't see embarrass it. You. Like I was just in there like dancing, trying to do my little dance and stuff and like I went to try to get live in the video and she's like get the fuck up off me but I you don't get, hear I in the video get the fuck up off yeah me. She, that's the that's the suggestion no um, but watch the video see. shy so it was eight in the morning I had just sat down and I'm clocking into work and Amber's in here dancing and she comes and grabs me from the back I'm not expecting that yeah she grabs me from the back so it startled me and I like pushed her off like what's going on you're watching the video do 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 you see me sitting at my work computer. You just grab me from exactly. behind. That's a, that's a reasonable reaction. No, it's not. I'm touching you. Who else going to be touching you? You know why it is a reasonable reaction? Because if it was the other way around, you would have reacted the same One, oh, you way. you would have acted A hundred percent. Can't you see I'm fucking working? Or can't you see I'm doing something? That's you. That's so crazy. When, when the last time you heard me talk like that? All like time. last year? No. To- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, actually five minutes ago. <laughs> I do talk to people rough. I do need to chill out. But hey, man, I mean well. You know what I'm saying? I mean well. So they like your engagement like that video? Yeah, yeah, I got like I got like comment people in, like they in that interact with it. You know what it is with you, Amber. The like, other one when I'm looking stupid doing the hip shake, they interact with hum- that shit. Humor is a really big tool, thing I right now. You like, show that ass. People I'm, are in social media to see other people act up. Honestly mm. and truly, like Instagram is business. where like Instagram is where like you establish your brand and your ethos. TikTok is where like you can be free and do and be whoever the fuck you want, and that's the type of shit that really resonates with people. They want to see you be stupid. That's why all these dumbass pranks get so many views. That's why when pranks. people do all this dumb shit to their partners and stuff, it gets so many views. It's sad to say, but people like that. They like drama. They like humor, comedy. They don't want to see you get ready and do your makeup. I ain't gonna lie. I be looking at the bag that the influencers make and I be like, damn, but they really be putting like they do. everything. It it's like, I'm I ain't got the, shit on it. I ain't, I don't have the energy, bro. It's mm-hmm. like, I gotta get up here and post a video every day to make you. And it takes hours. Bro, that, I'm never shitting on influencers. Like, oh, that's just influencer shit. Okay. They yeah, spending. They, be doing it. they buy props. They go out and get stuff yeah, to make the product look good. And they in here doing it. It is risk it is risk and reward though because they are getting rewarded they do get to gain nice like you get free shit and you even though you're working for it but it's like you still get it's a it's a give and take i'm not saying they on the front of the line risking their fucking life i don't say that but i'm like it is a hard job and my followers is like when i talk shit mm-hmm. exactly. and they like when i like rant when you rant or you're talking when shit I rant. anything on my tiktok the like i have one almost at a million views right now and it's me talking about big boys. And you see that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, so my yeah, TikTok. you gave up. You gave up Instagram with the TikTok, right? I, I only po- I I so I haven't been on Instagram in like it's been it's been a month and a half. And I honestly don't. I don't really. I I just don't like people knowing what I'm doing at all times. You don't post like that anyway. I don't. I post in my car, but like if I want to ignore somebody and they just. And you just want? Oh, you just want to post it? Well, tell people, hey, just because she also, be posting. And also, and also, I'm in this transitional period in my life where I feel like I'm too old to be saying some of the things that still pop up in my fucking yeah. head. And I don't want to always seem like I'm fucking ranting or have something negative to that say me all too. the time. Me too. So I don't be wanting I to feel you, bro. And every day I'd be like, I got some shit to say. Yeah. Bro. And like the one that went viral, I talk about other shit on TikTok, but the one that went viral was me talking shit about big boys. I mean, but about honestly, again, I'm like, these niggas ain't got no fucking kids. That, got a that's the shit that resonates with people. Like if you think about like DJ Academic and the shit that he talks about, or even other podcasters, like when they get on here, 
they literally just talk shit. They just rant. They give their opinions. People love to hear other people's opinions because you're saying shit shy that people really want to say, but they're too scared to say it. I got to I got to get a little bit of hate for it, too. But, but that's OK. I, I don't like, know why, okay. though, because let me tell you something. Go look at every cartoon. Go look at like the Flintstones family guy dad buys with. A, a nice figure woman on their side. You ain't right. saying nothing wrong. Like that's I'm what society is. Fact. Yeah. So shut the fuck up. Exactly. I said that. I was just like, y'all got all this shit to say about women, what? But y'all, y'all expect us to be top tier while y'all round frumpy and bumpy. That's what I said. So I got so many duets and men like this is what frumpy looks like. I'm like y'all are y'all big boys are. Mad. I mean, it happens to women too. At least you gonna be fed though. Yeah, you, know you get in a relationship. Your woman's the woman's cooking the one feeding and going them. out. Did you see Derek and Moni? <laughs> Do you watch Love After Lockdown? No, That's I what the fuck you should have been watching instead of watching Damn the Best Man at 6 a.m. this morning, goddammit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay. Love After Lockdown is on TikTok. Somebody posted like 14 parts of it. You need to go watch that shit. That's good shit. It's like, I think they're on the wrong show. No disrespect to Monique, because it's like this big, hefty woman with this guy. Like, oh, I seen that. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I seen one version of it where the little boy, he got on the little, uh, he got on the, the baby shower shirt. Oh yeah, the Gucci mm-hmm. shirt. The Gucci. Yeah. Oh, and that's Burberry. That used to be it. But I seen that one where the girl big and it was five hundred dollars. Yeah, five oh six. He was like, "You got this." But yeah, yeah it was like five oh six. You got this, and he got like this Cartier watch on his. I'm it, crying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just check it out. It was entertaining. Um, Some people fetishize like bigger people. Nah, he he using her. He's he just using, using her. her. He, he was in jail. Her. She was there for him. She's got the bread. Like. He's just using her. But you're absolutely right, Shy. There are some people who fetishize, who fetishize uh, big women. BBLs. Mm. I watched this episode. She you is remember? not BBW. I mean, not BBL, BBW. What do you mean? What's BBW? Big black woman. She is a She's big a big black, black woman. woman. Nah. She is. That's 600 pounds. Did you see that episode on 600 pounds and the, the guy was threatening to leave his wife because she, she wanted, wanted to lose, to lose weight, weight? Yeah, and I saw he that. was with her because he liked oh, yeah, seeing her? That mm-hmm. Like, that's insane. I, you me. know, I can't watch shit like that. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it, um, no, we I'll give Lizzo Fleck, let me just say that, not to cut you off, but you know, this is why I don't call her BBW. Because she doesn't carry it how Lizzo carries it. You know what I'm saying? I know we got tired of Lizzo showing it off, but I respect Lizzo's, how she carry it over how... You know, Monique respectfully carries it. It's a difference. Is all I'm saying. I mean, why? Because Monique's not sexy with it. I mean, Monique's not ugly. Because it's just, Lizzo's definitely a BBW. I'm I'm pretty sure Lizzo don't get out the bed how Monique get out the bed. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all I'm saying. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but just like the extra little hop and shit. I guess Lizzo's I don't doing know. that for everyone to feel comfortable. Even Monique, the girl, that's her name, right? Mm-hmm. Now. Lizzo is doing that so you can feel comfortable however you want. And look, I'm I have my feelings about things, mm-hmm. but you know. I I do get I do understand what Lizzo is doing and she's trying to make everyone feel comfortable, but I'm just keep it at that. I mean, it is it it, it, it is it's some, also like a health thing too. Oh, right? BC, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's it, not it, a there, there do there is a point where like you do have to think about your health. Um, for some people, it is genetic. Like they've been big all their lives and they can't shake the weight no matter what they do. But then there are some people who just. Fall into a depression or fall in love or I don't know you could do a gastric bypass surgery you know what I'm saying but that's neither here nor there not everybody can afford though. that Amber mm-hmm. those like not everybody has expensive. money for they that. are and not everybody has insurance did y'all for that. see that they um trying to like if you're 12 and older now um and you're an obese kid they can uh you can get a sleeve or something like that like a guy pa- a, a gastric bypass surgery or something like that mm-hmm. they are starting because there's like over four million obese kids in the world and that's this. Yeah, I hate to see a fat kid. I ain't going to lie. Like, I hate they're to see so it. They're so cute when they're young. No, it's never Because they look like little roly they like, They're so cute when they're young. But when they get older, it's just like, that's because of all these games and all this other shit going on. You need to go outside and play with some goddamn sticks. I hate to see a fat kid, boy. Especially if they in a stroller, too. We ain't going to get canceled because ain't nothing like um, fucking, <laughs> um, well, you gay. But you're not fat because that's in the two I'm fat. Of I just literally got on here and say I'm the, the biggest gay, I've ever been. Gay people and they're not fat and, though. And Amber. Big people will cancel you before anybody fucking else. So we need to stop. They need to cancel that motherfucking weight. That's what the fuck we gonna talk about. Cancel that damn weight. You gonna cancel anything? Hey, nobody bullies like some. Hey, listen. If you gonna be anything, like the LGBTQ2A. <laughs> they are some they are some bullies. Hey, I'm I'm the old school lesbian. I stopped counting out the so, LGBTQ. When they started doing IA and all the other shit, so they lost that's me. That's why they just say plus. LGBT <laughs> LGBTQ plus. I ain't gonna lie. Plus. I'm a cis woman. When they start you see all that, I don't even know what that means. What is that? Straight? Yes, okay. straight. I I just learned that. Because he's like, oh, a cis man. It's like, what the fuck is a look, cis no, man? Look, and, look, and the man, like, well, speaking of, you told me to stop watching Best Man. Um, his, well, have you seen the whole thing? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so his son is basically... Mm-hmm. He's pansexual. Yeah, his son is, no, non-binary. I thought they was, uh, I ain't gonna even lie. Non-binary, but but basically. He said non-binary, yeah. I thought he doesn't identify as a man or a woman, but I thought they were trying to, like, Dwayne Wade, that that whole little scenario. You didn't get that vibe? Mm. Um, I could see that, but in the same sense, I think think that's why they did non-binary instead of it, because Mm. also that is very prevalent in those communities, especially in the black community, especially a football player wanting that. So, like, I think they wanted to shed light on, but what pisses me off the most is that nowadays lately I feel like people like these these I think I've talked about this before but these platforms are like these um shows have been like making these young black male or black female um actress and actors gay like you got a whole diverse crew and clientele and I mean a whole diverse diversity crew you got mm-hmm. the asian the white the the latino the whatever mm-hmm. else and diversity, black, diversity, and the black one is always the one that's gay. And I'm, and look, I see it like this: damn if you do, damn if you don't. Because y'all had issues say, with the blacks being the first ones getting killed every time. I'm, okay. I was gonna say, I wish growing up when no, I would finish watch. Point. Te- yeah, go no, ahead. No. I just think that like, where where's the gay uh uh Asian? Do they don't need diversity? No, they don't no, need, they don't need that too. What are you talking about? There are gay Asians. No, no it's always the sidekick on TV that's either black and gay or just like I'm telling you. I'm You're not watching enough TV. I see everything. Halle, they done made Halle Berry kiss another girl. They done made fucking... That wasn't um, the first girl she sex, kissed. It doesn't matter, but they done made fucking sex education, the black sidekick gay. They This right here, they made a black man gay. They made... It's uh, every single one. They made a black girl gay on... Um, well, Sha, you know, yo, yo people... Well, no... My people what, bitch? No. Both of my parents are black. No, no, no. I'm saying I was about to is? say yo, yo, yo people was the only one that didn't have like... Because you know if you have three or more kids... One my of them gonna be was, gay. My that's why I, was gay I for that's seven why, years. That's why I shut it up. You know what I'm saying? She but was gay for a little bit. If you have three or more kids, she went kids, back to the dick. You have three. If she had three or more kids, I mean, you have three or more kids, one of them are going to bound to be gay. And that's think, the that's the real that's issue. That's not true. My aunt has no, five kids thing. and none of them are but gay. I don't you think you don't know that. Wrong. I don't think no, that's true. none of them are gay. I don't think nothing is wrong with it. I'm not saying that. Nothing, I'm I'm just saying it's just it seems like this agenda lately. It's on the black community. It's on the black community. Are, I do. are there do just you gay think people? It's because the black community is the only I, community that is not really accepting to gay men. This is the as real much agenda. As other communities. This is the real agenda. The, these I think they're pronouns. trying to emasculate men. I think, mm-hmm. that, and especially a black man. I think they're trying to because they fear. I do. Fear I think it's, it's a fear of it, and they're trying to emasculate men and just make them see like. But just because they're gay doesn't mean that they're not masculine. And like, I know saying, some gay men who will fuck a straight man up. Bro, in a my uncle heartbeat. was six five, <laughs> tall as shit, wore a mini skirt and some heels that was way and too small. Beat the fuck out of All right, like, here's here's I'm my not saying that. here's my shock. Uh, here's my take. Um, they're not trying to emasculate men. Is it emasculate Let, or demasculate? Because I know I said emasculate. Is it emasculate. I think yeah. emasculate. But um, they're not trying to do that. My thing is, um, men, black men at that, they can't even be open and be like, yeah, I've tried it because of black women. So, no, um, no, no. That's why I said, is it because, because you of, feel like the because black, of black women? Is the um, only community that is not as accepting to their yes, men. The black and I can gay. understand that. I can, and I, I get that. I do get it. I do understand. But it's like. You're a date a bisexual man? Or not even bisexual. No, we've asked this before. We're re, we, new year, new conversation. <laughs> um, and I said what I said last time. So no. I stand by what I said. But that's okay, though. She may be. She I'm may cool not with be preference. Into that. We know some people who, Me who too. are. And that's the problem. Like, if I'm cool with preference. I, have no I like black women only. You're a black woman, baby. You know, but I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't date outside my race. Is all I'm saying. Exactly. I would. I'm not. I stopped it, and that's my preference. I, I wish somebody would be like, "Oh, bitch, you racist. You don't like no white coochie." I don't. I, I mean, don't. But I don't. I've never been. I've never been with How anybody white. Some, and I feel the same way when people really. I mean, I've been with somebody who's like black and white, but like full white. No, like never. Yeah, mixed. and everybody that I've ever mixed. dated, they were mixed with black. Yeah. I mean, one person was full Puerto Rican, but I thought she was black. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like I want to have to, I I would like to be able to relate with someone that I'm with. Like, I want them to relate. Like, I was talking, I have a, I was talking to, I have a group of little white friends, not little white friends, but that sounds fucked up. (laughs) Yeah. One of my best, no, one of my best friends, no. Okay. <laughs> one of my best friends is white, so I'm not saying it like that. I was just, wow, that's some <laughs> racist ass shit. I got a good, I got a white friend. <laughs> no, I'm saying one, but I'm when I'm with her crew of friends. We like I was talking to one of the guys, and I was just, and he was just, I was like, do you have you ever even watched Martin? And he was like, what's Martin? 
And that type and of you know, shit I wouldn't be able to deal with if I was dating somebody. But you could also bring people into your world, into your culture, and they like those things. I, I, I wouldn't get offended. But there are people like that. We just watched Jeannie in Georgia, right? And Jeannie is a black and white girl. Mm-hmm. And her mother is white, and she was raised by her mom. And when her black family... Did you finish family, the second season? You yeah. know what would be but pissing listen, me off? Not because you're... You always bringing up these shows. Like, Jeannie in Georgia, they had a scene in there. I with like the, that show. Yeah, yeah. But they had a scene in there where the dude woke up. They was, like, kissing each other fresh. I mean, she's like, why don't you wake up and kiss me anymore? I'm like, that is... <laughs> fucking TV. We're not even talking about but that. But I'm just saying, you always bringing up like, I be feeling shit the same in the show. Way. That should be I fake. Like that but too. it's like, relatable. Wake me up and kiss me. Anyways, back to what I, I was saying. You. So Jeannie is a black and white girl. Her mom is white, dad, black. She was raised by her mom. And when her grandparents from her father's side, her black side came over, they asked her, oh, did you didn't you have you ever heard of the Jack and Jill folk, folk story? And she's like, who is Jack and Jill? And she's like, that's an issue. Because like, why don't you know who Jack that and is? Jack and Jill is black? No, they're white. But why don't you know but Jack and Jill? But why don't you know it? Her mother never told her it. The, Jack and, and Jill and basically, basically, basically like, why didn't your mother ever tell you any of these folk stories when you were a kid? Mm-hmm. Like all other families do. You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't you know anything about your black side or who you really are? All she knows is white. But she's black. She's black and white. She dates a white boy. Everything about her. You would you would think that she's a white girl. Well, a black girl who's white, but she's not. But that's just because she's never been exposed to like her black that side, side of her that side of her culture. Mm-hmm. I, could, I mean, I don't know. Back to when they was like, have you ever watched Martin? How you think they feel when they'd be like, you ever watch Friends? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never watched it. So and that's what I'm saying. So that's why <laughs> that's I have no problem with preference, though. Like, yeah. I feel the exact same way. Like, if someone were to be like, I don't like tall, beautiful, well-shaped, light-skinned women, I'd be like, well, you know, that's your preference. I like I threw that well-shaped. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't seen be upset that, with that. You, you seen that video going viral right now and that, that skinny girl, like she ended up doing some shit like that. And then um, it, it flashes to another video and it's like these little two things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were about to talk You're about not that, that skinny. That You're not that skinny. That, um, the light skin, dark skin comments. No, nah. I did see that where they were like, why is it that there's so much colorism in the black community? They said that light people, light skin, light skin, black people can't relate to what dark skin black people go through every day my, now that's an old conversation we can yeah, put put in the exactly back. but i think my take on that is that i can't stand and i even though i am light skin i can't stand when people when light skin people are like well i got bullied and i got this and that i'm like bro it's still in a to me and i've dealt with the same shit that they're talking about but to me it's no comparison to what like a black woman or a black man has mm-hmm. gone like it's just no com- it i wouldn't even bring it up in conversation because you know, you, know you got a different walk of life. Exactly. You know, at least you know. Because I'm a fucking be a, a lot lady. of people don't acknowledge it, and at least and you do. You not acknowledge it, but it, I know that, and it's also like I've never. I remember a Lil Wayne song when I said that. I think I said this before too. I'm like, I you brown skin people never had to hear like literally a verse like beautiful brown woman, beautiful brown woman. I bet that yeah, yeah, better yeah. red. Like that's just like y'all don't have to deal with shit like that. That's like what's so crazy since you watched Jen, Jeannie Jenny I didn't and George. finish it. But it was a part on there. You see, like the black girl, mm-hmm. the black friend. It was a part on there. They was like taking photos or something. The dad was taking photos. Of oh yeah, and, her. and it, the the dark girl ate Jenny up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I mean, just because you're light skinned don't mean I was you're just cute. like, just because you light skinned does not mean you're cute. You just light skinned, baby. The light skinned people can look like Miss Fucking Piggy or like somebody called literally. me an albino bullfrog one time. And literally, I know I'm not, but you know, like you can, <laughs> there, there are people who look that way and just because you light skin, it's the equivalent to like, you ever go to like a Albino really. Albino bullfrog is I know, crazy. Really, yeah. I was like, that kind of hurting me. Oh, <laughs> that kind of hurting my feelings. I ever said somebody called him a, a, a albino cockroach before. <laughs> Uh, he's, not light that's, skin. he's hella light he's like like me no he's not no he, he's like he a is, shade he, darker than you he, he has a i have a yellow undertone his is red so that's why it's different mm. but it's it's an equivalent to like light skin people thinking that they're all that because their light skin is the same to like if you go to like one of these popping clubs and how they won't let no black people in and but they got a black bitch like not bitch, a black woman <laughs> i'm trying to change my way a black woman looking good, like literally from like head to toe, like stepping on bitches, and they let this ugly ass, like raggedy trailer part. Nothing wrong with trailer park, but just yeah, because like I grew up in one bitch. I know, yeah. <laughs> My aunt had a fire ass trailer park, but I'm just saying, a, a like the bottom park. of the barrel, the bottom of the barrel, white woman in because she's white, and that's how some light skinned people think of how they are. Like, I'm still light skinned. I could do this because I'm light skinned. I'm like, are you a good fucking person? <laughs> are you a good person? Do yeah. you have the feature? Look at this. I feel like I look good any color. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, go. Do you? Yeah, no. Do you, boo boo? But anyway, um, yeah, I don't. 
Mm, I don't play. I don't play. But that is true, though. Light, light skinned people and dark skinned people definitely do walk two different paths of. Oh, and now we're it's trying. plenty of it's plenty of movies it, dictating it, that too. Yeah, like there's white a, passing. There was just what is that movie that we watched on Netflix where the girl was so light skinned she started to tell people she was white and she married the white man. Remember? I forget passing. It might have been passing. No, it was with the guy who sang sung music. It was on Netflix. It's remember? passing. I think it was passing because it's called passing because she passed as a, a white it, woman. It's not called passing. Okay, but it's not. It's something about music. The title is something about music, but she was full black. She was like lighter than you, Shy. She was probably like pale, like albino. Because I think I'm. Um, I think and I'm her hair wasn't dark. even fine. Like she didn't have a fine. You need to go hit a tanning booth. Like every time I see you, you getting lighter and lighter. I'm it's starting to think you're a vampire. I'm starting it's to think winter. you're a vampire. This shit's crazy. Somebody told me yesterday that was like I can see your veins. In your like eyes. this shit's crazy. You're getting lighter and lighter. Like, are you bleaching? No, I'm girl, just... shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm going to a tanning bed. Please let me. Be like, God damn. <laughs> You getting pale and pale. Your skin looks great, though. Thank you. You look great. You're going. I didn't take my acne pill today. I got to. That's good. It's the acne pill that if I were to get pregnant right now, um, if I were to have a son, his testosterone would be blocked, so he would probably like have a like a little bit a little big mm-hmm. clit. <laughs> yeah, and that's why like I'm supposed to take my birth control with it, but I stopped taking birth control because it makes me fucking crazy. My cycles on right now, and I knew that because yesterday I was crying during um like. Literally watching the best man, I was like, "This." I mean, they had some sad parts. In okay, so did you cry? I don't remember. And I'm not a crier like that. That's why I was like, "Okay, great cycle one," but yeah, whatever. So, what are we supposed to be it talking about? I feel like we've been cry. all over. Exactly. And I'm like, today, I was like, "That's why we're not all over." This is great conversation. Fuck out of here. Let's talk about Frito Bang knocking up oh, this so lesbian yeah, when we're, couple. When we're, he, he didn't what? He knocked up one of them. So one of them. They're called Seven and Hard Body Princess. Seven and Annie. Seven had a baby. I U I. It's not Fritos. That's the firstborn. The the little boy, the new one with the with the low cut. That's the one they naturally had. Meaning beep 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 beep. He ain't donate no sperm. The sperm that he donated, it was in there naturally. And that's all I'm saying. And people are upset because seven. And Annie, whoever the people are, I'm just learning these folks. They were up here talking about how they was like going through IUI and trying to like. Really I'm have lost a baby. right now. Frito Bang. Okay, so start from the top. Frito Bang. Frito Bangs had one baby, but with a girl, and they. Frito, Frito Bang knocked up a married lesbian couple. That's the headline. <laughs> he didn't like both of them are cool with it. So one of they're married. They're a married lesbian couple. They both got kids. One had a kid, IUI, and the other one that just had a little baby boy, they actually had that naturally. Oh, I know I told you about this. I know somebody who's who's done that before. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with I'm that. I'm not saying But she went fully straight. She after she got dick for the first time for to be pregnant with her lesbian wife, mm. she looked, Was she a stud? She was she was yeah. Bitch, why are you pointing at me? <laughs> this bitch pointed at me. She was. Yeah. It's funny. I know a girl who did that before to get pregnant. She's a stud. She was still a stud. And while she was pregnant, she was still a stud. And in the club, tip like. Mm-hmm. She why are we party. talking about these bitches? We so talk about. Would you do that? No. Would you what? let someone um do that with you? I don't know. Would you let a man have sex with you real quick? I've had sex with men before. I just don't like. I don't like dick. So I don't. I don't you know. should be mad. That'd be mad. You got to get a rapist. Ooh, no, no. Sorry, cancel that out. You um, what were you saying? What did you what? just say? No, I was about to say anything. You got to get a who? No, no. <laughs> yeah, you wow. I just got scared. Yeah, I got real scared. No, but I'm saying what um, imagine. Oh, never mind. I don't even imagine you having sex. Yeah, don't. Anyway, so like I was saying, the thing that everybody was going crazy over about this is um, first off, they're a married couple. And they were the the fans were upset because it's like y'all motherfuckers lied saying like y'all went through IVF and IU IUI. Oh, so they made up a whole story about no, it. No, the first baby was through IUI, but the second baby they was more secretive. They didn't say how they got through that process until Frito Bang came out and was like, "I'm a daddy." And then that's when they came. But they were already exposed on Gossip in the City. Somebody wrote this whole thing out talking about Annie and Seven, a hard body, whatever. They out there at, in Miami right now, at Frito Bang House celebrating. That's the that's the real daddy, which is crazy. But um, maybe they didn't have no money to do another round of IUI to get the they're fucking influencers. Girl pregnant. They're influencers, but they did like three rounds. Let them tell it of IUI to get the first baby. That's expensive. Yeah, it is. But listen, hear me out. Moral of the story is: Do y'all think? And the girl, like, she got a little low cut. If you, you don't know, she she's not a stud, but you know, she wear girl clothes. But 
she she's can like give a, stud. So she's not a stud. She's not a she's stud. A soft but he, the 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 reason why I went viral because a few months ago, uh, Frito was like stud pussy is top tier. <laughs> He's wild for that. He is so wild. For he was like that. stud pussy is top tier, and then like there's this fake ass couple on Instagram right now. Um, it's the stud. She got a girlfriend and this her homeboy and he got a girlfriend, but they acting like they all in a poly relationship. Uh-huh. And if you go on the stud page, Frito was under every fucking photo, liking all her shit. And it's like, this dude really like, what's so does up that with make him? him gay? Cause I mean, it's, nah, still it's a girl. not, it's still a girl, but it's like, what's up with you? But, but real men be like, that's that jail shit. I don't know. I don't even want to say real men. Cause I, if you're a real man, you know, that's a woman and you got a pussy at the end of the day. But my life, I've known I straight no, I've known straight men who were down to fuck studs and they always said it's just because they feel like y'all don't get dick a lot and when you do get it the shit is extra tight, extra wet and it's only for them. It's like a fucking conquest for them. Yeah, and that's why that y'all should stop fucking these niggas cuz it's a conquest. They didn't conquer you. On to the next. What my next lesbian I can go knock I, down. I, it's really men out here that love to just they they'll go and only fuck with lesbians to knock them down. It's like Damn, let me see Are if I can take to make it out. y'all straight or something? Yeah, it's like a, it's a fucking game to him. It's like, if y'all know a nigga operate like that, why would you even give him the coochie? I feel that way when tall men, like extremely tall men, date women. Like, like a seven foot man date, date someone like that's four five, eleven. Like four, I'm like, you're a pedophile to me. That's a little girl, yeah. That's What's a little up? girl. So I you don't even I, look right I laying down kinda, in bed. Exactly. Are little girls shaped understand. like that though? Like, are they fully developed? Like, if you're short and you got a full banging ass body, big titties, big ass, like I'm, Child. I wouldn't think. I'm that just you're like a anybody that Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal is in relationship with. It just doesn't look that's right. I, feel, I probably feel <laughs> there's that tall women. It's tall women though, and they go for the bitches that are what? It's tall feet tall, five foot five, and you're seven five. Like what? What's up what with you? is that? Why is that? There's tall women. There's, so it's, I can see so, what she means by saying, like, why are you even attracted to me if you don't like little boys a little bit? Because I look more like a little boy. That's so I can so get it. short people should stay together and tall people should stay to together. To me? Yes. Some women don't want a short man. They don't really. They want to give their kids hope. Faith, that's why short men love me. Short, <laughs> I, I'm telling you out of. Yeah, because they trying to climb that tree. They, it's a all, it's a conquer. Um, no, I'm, no I, that's what I'm saying. First of all. I remember, I'll never forget that I gave a short man a chance. And I remember we laid down in bed. Like <laughs> that men, nigga climbed your back. This is the thing. This is the thing. Men, a short men, are, men have been like, I'll wear some heels around you, baby. Just to like try to fuck me. Like they'll say, they'll say wild shit. But short men have been like, <laughs> it's all the same when you laying down together. Yeah. And I'll, I'll never, I gave the short man a chance and I laid down with him. And his feet, like his toes was at like my shins. And in my head, I was like, it's not the fucking same. Because you went, we ain't. <laughs> footy finger and we, we ain't footing footing with each other like your feet are like damn near at my goddamn knees yeah. so it isn't the same i don't want to i don't want to lay with a short man again yeah that was me short kings i respect y'all and i love y'all still but for me it's not yeah, really my preference, preference. that's why i think it was a side eye and megan the stallion when she gave to crazy you know what i'm saying like crazy. she didn't know what she was doing then. she was going through it had to be going through it but y'all see that shit with tori just to get up but we getting all over the place shout out to frito man um they out here calling him a louisiana living legend because he didn't knocked up a He's married from louisiana? Le- yeah i feel like that's a thing in louisiana though wasn't there like mm-hmm. he knocked up a married a married couple so there but- you go I mean, if that was their choice, yeah, they they happy about all of them happy wrong, about what it. What is wrong nothing. with that? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you can't afford it and you really want kids, you said their first round they went through three rounds of IUI. Like, that is not that cheap. Is, yeah. Mm-hmm. How much does that cost? It can be ten k a pop. I thought like it depended on your or insurance. Might Thirty thousands of dollars. I'm crying. And for it to fail three times, like I wouldn't want to put that money up again and have to risk it again either. Yeah, I think it's be scamming because. Everybody also, I know would be like three times. We didn't went three times. It's like I don't know. It sounds scamish, right? Like you ain't do it the first time. Third. So would you? What if you don't get pregnant the first time? You keep going. What do you keep mean? Pay that sex. money again? No, I'm talking oh. about yeah. sex. Oh damn. yeah, I guess so. Like God damn, damn I gotta get some dick again. Damn. <laughs> that would be a hurt piece. That's what that. That's what happened to my my um, uncle's best friend. The girl I was talking about. She was um. And she, <laughs> and she, they were trying to get pregnant, so they did it that way. And she, and her, her and the dude still together, still together with three kids now. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. How did the other girl handle it? I don't know. That was she wasn't part of our family. It was the other one. That's crazy. Shit, shit like that'll be on, you know, snapped and shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, I can understand some shit like that. I'm not really saying I'm all down for motherfuckers. 
I'm t- I'm talking. I'm like, yeah, I you definitely know some studs. <laughs> but you know what? All the studs that I know that got pregnant, they had sex with like other Live gay talking. men. You know uh, what I'm saying? Oh, that makes and sense. To have the baby because they both wanted kids and they didn't want to have to like be with the person. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. I don't know. I just know. Ain't I nobody finna see. fuck live in front of me. That's all I know. Maybe well, that wasn't the plan. The that wasn't hmm? the plan Maybe for us. We're just going to pay. You said in front. <laughs> Shut your stupid. We're just going to pay. This bitch want to square up. I feel like you want to square up. You can get that on camera too after this, after we done recording. You want to square up with this hoe? I'm and, strong. She right. is strong. Anyway, man. So, what we got going on? Well, we didn't just went all over the place. We were supposed to talk about New Year, New Us, or New Year, no, same us. We were supposed to talk about. Oh, you about, didn't say what you wanted to do for your New Year. Well, we kind of passed that. Now Amber didn't cut me off. Well, now about me. Amber didn't cut her off. You did. Shy was on this bitch talking to. Yeah, and then after that, you went right into what you were saying. My fault. Shit. Go ahead. What you got going on? <laughs> we can still okay. talk about it. What are you talking about? It's okay. Oh, wait. Are you still with the same job? I'm still at the same job. Excuse me. Love my job. They gave if you you're an raise. influencer and you want to get to tea fix, holla at me, hit me up. I'm not making any promises. Don't be promoting. Don't be promoting on my. On, I didn't on, say what the, the company podcast. is. I didn't say none of that. I just said yeah. if you want to get your teeth fixed, they don't have to pay for that promo. Pay for that promo. I again, I didn't mention any names. Mm-hmm. No names. Mm-hmm. But anyways, I'm still at the same company. My, I mean, my New Year was cool. I would, We didn't celebrate. It I was, was actually, not cool. We were in a hospital. Go ahead and tell it. So we were in the no, hospital. Don't, don't tell it, bitch. Let her tell the story. I'm just joking. Go she ahead. Was about to- I really wasn't going to tell it. But you really were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Girl, carry on. Anyways, we didn't get to bring in the new year the way we wanted to. I was sick. I was in the hospital. And the medicine that they gave me, I couldn't drink. So we were in bed by like 9 o'clock. But nonetheless, I was okay with that. Like I, one of, A big thing for me is I want to stop drinking. I feel like I drink out of boredom. Or when I'm like sad or depressed and I don't want to be that person that just mm-hmm. drinks because I have nothing else to do. Oh, that's a good job. Both you know are kind of on saying? the same wavelength. Then. And it, it's, been, it's always been easy for me. Like there have, been, there have been points in our relationship where it's like, babe, I'm not drinking or I don't want to smoke. I haven't been smoking in the mornings. I use, I feel stupid when I smoke in the mornings and I was doing it for years and I decided to stop. But I, it's not. there's nothing that I feel like is new year, new me. I feel like it's just a new year and I'm still trying to accomplish the same shit. Like Mm -hmm. for me, I don't feel like nothing's going to happen overnight. It's a process. It's going to take years for me to really be Mm -hmm. where I want to be. So nothing, nothing's going to change, but I'm going to continue to just push, push for what I want. Cause I, I, I'm trying to stop drinking. I just had a drink What Monday. I felt like shit the next day and it was only a pint of Hennessy. I felt like shit and it took me all day to recover. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I, I can go without What this. helps me is when I don't put much emphasis on it. When I'm like, when, you know, when you when you don't put much emphasis on it, it feels like when I'm like, all right, I got 31 days and I'm like every single day, oh, I wish I had a drink. But when I just let the, like the time pass, I'll be like, oh, okay, I've gone like two weeks without a drink. Mm-hmm. And then in my head, I'd be like, no, I need one. Mm-hmm. But everything made me want to drink though. Oh shit, I'm mad. Let me get a drink. I don't be feeling like that. I do. I was like, yeah. if I've had like a long day or something and I'm like, I feel like I accomplished something, I'm like, oh, I can take it. I can go get a little drink. You got some liquor at your house? Yeah, but I don't drink it. Like I don't, I don't drink. I might need to come get some of that. I don't have Hennessy. I don't drink by myself, like at home. I don't do like I'm like a social drinker. My problem with drinking is that you don't know when to stop. Yeah, I drink to do get not, fucked like, up. I'm not drinking just to drink. Home. Like you want to pour yourself a glass fucked. of wine or something? Not, I had a glass of wine yesterday, but <laughs> I had people over. Mm. Got you. So it was something like it's not like I, I don't need it to wind down. Like I really don't. I people, my family might think I have a little issue with it, but I don't. But I'm just like I get fucked up when I do drink. Mm-hmm. But me too. See, and I think that's a Louisiana issue. thing, though. Probably it's, I, it's, a, it's a millennial thing. It is because I will sit in this house <laughs> and I will drink a full bottle of red wine and then open up a whole nother bottle and try to down it by myself here. That's See? a that's an issue. I just I'll be, I I'll be at the pint. And I, I ain't say a pint. It was a half a pint. I had a half pint, and a half pint made me feel bad. And soon, maybe you'll get to that point where it's like, damn, I don't even want to drink. I like don't that want anymore, to. You know? I don't. I genuinely don't. But it's just like, hmm. When I was sick and we were in Louisiana, I didn't drink and I didn't smoke. And I was like, Amber, I honestly don't miss it. And when I smoked again, I was like, I don't even like the way this weed tastes. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's just not. It, I don't like the way the, the liquor be making my weed taste. It's like, I didn't drink too much, and it's like, ugh, I just feel sick. It's devil's piss. We should be putting that shit in our body. It's exactly what you said. I seen you repost it, but it was like, why are we putting something in our body that doesn't taste good to make us feel good for a little bit to then wake up and feel like shit? I, I, I'm true. like, 
genuinely feel like grade A shit. Like I feel like maybe we should drink more water in between it. Cause I'm I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say this fully. I ain't gonna never stop drinking. I would like to. I take breaks. Yeah, I like to take a long break though. Long little breaks. I do want to take a break, especially if Amber and I we were talking about it. I mean, it's not something set in stone, but we are wanting to start a family, and I want to be with Frito Bang. No. I don't even find him attractive First off, yeah, we don't want a, like, we want a good-looking good looking man. Looking, we want a good-looking uh, man. donor. Like, I don't... I want him to be tall. I don't want to have to worry. Him. Just because he got money. I don't care yeah, about I'm that. Not care. I mean, I do want to know his back history, right? Like, of course, I want to know where does he come from? What's his family like? What's his mental state like? All of that good health? stuff. His health. All of that shit. But, like... Like, what time? Just well, like, because did, he got what, some... What, just, when he started balding, because I don't want my baby having a fucking no receding hairline at 18. Shit, that matters. That's another thing men talk about. They got receding hairlines and fucked up teeth, and they worried about what we look like. <laughs> Is that wearing all belly those fucking... Up, belly sitting over their fucking balls. Man, stop wearing all them fucking hats, man. You fucking up you like the sun ain't getting to it. And wonder why your shit getting pushed back. Get rid of them fucking hats. Every man that wear buku hats, they fucking shit like back here. I kid you not. It's It's been proven. What? Mm. It's proven. Like let, hat. let them fucking hats done. Then y'all be out here hat fishing. We don't never Bass. see you without a fucking hat. And then we see you with a hat. It's like, what the fuck you is see this? In the club, you gotta be like, take your hat off for me, baby. Yeah, like what the fuck is this? And then if you still got it, cut that shit out, bro. Leave them hats alone, man. You fucking your shit. You fucking your shit up. Leave the them hats alone. Of a man's receding hairline is when he when he let his beard grow out, mm. and then that's when they shave this. Mm-hmm. And now you know, Look, I'm at that age. Hair up top, no none back here. He's probably what? He's probably how old are you? Like twenty. Four. Good grade of hair. No hats either, though. 23. How old are you? 20, exactly. Don't wear any hats, though. Old. He looks young and vibrant like the world hasn't fucked him up yet. <laughs> you know, so he looks like that. He ain't going to be wearing no hats. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. No hats. And look, got a good grade of hair. You know what I'm saying? Just look at the people with the hats. A, a lot of the people that I know, a lot of the men from the East Coast that wear hats, they are bald. And I feel like it's be, like you the said, hair not getting to it. The, ha- the, the, the sun hats not getting to it. All their lives. And that's a big thing on the East Coast. Like fitted hats are a really big thing on the East Coast. So a lot of them. I, I probably would have been now, receding too if I wore hats. Speaking of Tory Lanez, he had that shirt. Everybody getting it. Floyd Mayweather, the hair Tory but Tory looks hair fucking shirt. ridiculous still though. He probably went to somebody bad. LeBron, they, LeBron need to let it go. It. LeBron needs to let that shit go. KD Every too. I think season. I seen a video of KD. His shit looked pretty bad too. Something like bro, just let that shit go. Hair. I'm just saying, Hairlines. sometimes you just got to start over, man. If shit ain't working out for you, like, like my brother, like his shit then and out, and he just won't be won't all. It's like bro, you just gotta. He was. It's standing out, bro. You're getting old. You're 40 plus. You ain't going to have it all. What if your dreads start to look like Stevie? I'm shaving Stevie Wonder. Hey, I'm cutting these hoes off. You ain't, it ain't going to even be nothing. Like, I'm holding on to this. Fuck out of here, bro. I'm letting it go. He, he just like that because he can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> they say he can see why you playing. They say that shit's a game. I met him before. And he saw you, right? No, well, he, he was like, "Damn, it's a tall bitch." What's really what's weird is that he did what they say you gonna what they say he does. Like he just like he I, don't do that. He, that I, was Ray Charles, dummy. Um, no, it was Stevie Wonder. It was Ray Charles that did it. It was Stevie Wonder who did the same. Bitch, I met him. I'm not lying about this. Like I literally met him. Ray Charles. This was in a movie with Ray Charles. Okay, though. well Stevie does the same thing. Look mm-hmm. it up. Stevie what he said. Oh, you need to eat more. When he read it, <laughs> it was like, you "Need to let me see." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this shit. Do yeah, because hers is the I'm same. Going, yeah, I'm, I'm tiny. No, no, no. She got a little right, bit more I... meat. She... Oh. Well, so what? Nothing. Anyway. So anyway, man, we're about to wrap this shit up. What y'all want to talk about? You got any yeah, recommendations? Other stuff. No, go ahead. Because we got recommendations I wanted to talk about. Well, you want to talk about the shows? What else did we the, have to They were the recommendations of Because Zach like he tired. So we have Don't Worry Darling, which is actually oh, a yeah. really good show. Did you watched it? It's the a movie. concept it's and the plot twist it's is on HBO. insane. I really like the movie. I could watch it again and again. And I I just watched it like a month mm-hmm. ago, and that shit was fire. I like I all of John Amber Wick. It. Yeah, all three John Wicks were pretty cool. I never watched it before. I was pretty mad that I watched them all that fast because it was really good. I like John Wick. Mm-hmm. Um, Keanu Reeves is a really good actor. Like he is actually an amazing actor and very very talented. Say he's such a sweet man. A really good hearted man too. Been through a lot too in his life. Been through so much tragedy. You had Key Glock on there. Yeah, what you been watching though? Um, 
Jenny and Georgia. I watched Emily in Paris from y'all. Oh, I, I watched it. I haven't really been on like that type of tip yet. I watched the the best man in the final chapters, but I've really been like wanting to, which is another thing with me for the new year. I've been wanting to like read. Mm. So, I just told him. I just that. finished reading this um the guest list by Lucy Foley, I think her um last name is. What is it about? It's about like a wedding guest list and about it's I love murder mystery and thriller. I'm sick of fucking self help. Like they're not helping. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm over self help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're not, they're not helping. helping. They're just sitting there. But I mean I've been on that kind of tip lately and I like read like a good book in like a day or two sometimes. But I I wanna get back into like watching different shit, but yeah, I'd be trying to. Like, I want to start reading more too. It just becomes it's hard for me to find time. I have a full time job. I'm in school full time. I just stopped my part time job. On top of that, I'm a wife, so I have to cook. We clean. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I still have to do to yeah, find time dog. to find time to read. By the time I have a moment to myself, it's ten o'clock at night, and I'm tired. You know, yeah, what I'm it being it being in like, like time going fast like a motherfucker. Time is it's Wednesday already. It's seven forty five exactly. Like. <laughs> Like after this, like I be, I don't never like I used to be in bed by nine o'clock, bro. We've been going to bed at like eleven. You know, I don't. You know, I seen like I somebody sent me a meme because I said something about like being. I went to sleep at six early, but I've been going to sleep at like twelve. I mean, not even twelve, like three, four. Nah, not that late for me. So, and I'm not usually like that. Me. If I'm not working late at night, I'm going to sleep by like ten o'clock, eleven. Mm-hmm. That's my normal time to sleep. But I'm like, I have been like, and I've been waking up late. I'm early. Like, I've been waking up early still. No, I woke up at two o'clock. Still. No, I've been waking up late, like Crazy. six. Well, it's been seven. It's seven is pretty late for me because I usually wake up at like five or six. That sounds miserable. No, you pissed me off. Like sleeping past. Like, I think sleep past 8 is crazy. I be telling Amber, babe, let me sleep in. She'd be like, okay, I'll wake you up at like 8, 830. I'm like, that's not what I meant, but okay. Sleeping past 8 is crazy. The day is over with at 12. The fuck are you doing? What What are you not doing? What are I'm you doing? Dead. Don't nothing even be up. <laughs> not, even in LA, nothing yeah, is open until 12. like 11. Until yeah, you're right. You're right. What are you doing? Masturbating? Up. No, I'm, I'm up. I'm up. She's beating. up making her videos. I'm up beating the rest of the world because you know. And I notice when the streets get, I get very agitated with people. I don't like people. Every time I leave here, I get mad. Every time I got to drive, it's like, why? Why are you even on these streets? You know what I'm saying? So I get up and I'm up before everybody else, so I can enjoy life before the world wakes up. Whatever works for you. I'm just letting you know. You wake up with the rest of the world and come out here and create this fucking chaos. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Maybe that should be one of my New Year's resolutions. Wake, wake up, up bro. earlier. Yeah. But I'm going to be out of bed by 10. You know they say success. the most successful people have a routine. They get up super early. They follow the same routine every day. They have everything planned out from the time they shower in the morning to the time they shower at night to when they brush their teeth. That's the thing. I don't like, have a fucking routine My either. My manager legit told me, she was like, Liv, I cannot live without a routine. Every day I sit down and I write what time I plan on waking up, when I'm going to shower, when I'm going to brush my teeth, when I'm going to wash my hair, what I'm going to do for breakfast. Everything is planned out for her. She sounds like she's great at falling in line. Right. Shut up and fall in line. She's successful though. Like yeah. she's she's young. She's my age. She's, she's a great American great citizen. Money. Like she had. She's the head of marketing. She's a direct, like she's doing her thing. Yep. Shut up and fall in line. What? Let, routine no. is not bad. Not bad. But damn, you can't. You, you got to write down some when you want to wash your hair. Some, some people, people need that, though. That. Like, they need that. They need the structure. I honestly be trying to do that. I, be, I have my little iPad. Right Seriously. Here. I do. I be trying. And I be like, I'm like, I'm not going to go a whole day without checking anything off. And like, I be checking one box off and I got about 10. I do it's, it for work. I need to do that for work. Like, I'll make a plan for my job and what mm. I'm going to do. Yeah, I do that for my, for the nothing. I just do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I do notice if you write it down and you go back, be like, damn, I actually did wrote that down and I executed it. You feel a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all make a vision board? Uh, mm-hmm. No, we just wrote some shit down in our book. But I only wrote mm-hmm. like five things down. I feel like I should have I mean, but that's enough. More. Like, you don't need to have an extensive list of goals. Sometimes it takes True. long to execute just one goal. Mm-hmm. So the goal is to get... Stop drinking. One thing at the, the time, says, bro. At, at least 10 cups. All right, but we're about to wrap this shit up, man, because uh, Zach's wrapping us up. Yeah, we're going to blame it on you. What? Well, we were technically supposed to stop at 30. Okay, cool. All right, All right but um, Shad, you want to shout yourself out, plug anything in? No? So, it's me, myself, and I. Um, it's Shy. Shy on all platforms, C-H-Y dot F. And, yeah, that's it. Thank you again for coming in and always being a great guest joining us. Um, thank you, babe, for 
producing the show that we didn't stick to, but you know, this Thank is you what for it's for. Me. Of course, this always. is what we do. But yeah, man, it's your girl DW says this is the says, and we're out here, and we're out. Big and dick energy. Out. The big dick getter. I just wanna freak my mind.